What's up gamers, how you doing? It's John. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new upcoming GRS Super Joystick. It is not to the market yet. It's come out November 2023. So as of filming this video and releasing this video, it's not out quite yet. It is available for pre-order. And I want to say a big shout out to my good friend Glenn from Glenn's Retro Show. Really great dude. He's been part of the retro gaming community here on YouTube for years. He's released awesome products, arcade related. I did a review a while ago on like this mini one six scale mini arcade that he produced. And it's awesome. So Glenn's got a really good track record with producing great arcade related products and I trust his, his products, which is great. So uh, this is available for pre-order. The website is called thunderstickstudio.com. I'll put a link in the info in this video. You can check it out. It does retail for 80 US dollars. Unfortunately, it's not available outside the US as of yet. The website says it's only available in the US. I'm not sure if that's gonna change or not. Sales tax are included, shipping's not, right? So what's awesome about this kit is everything you have here is what you need, right? So the box, if it's our, let me take the sleeve off, show you the back. It is Akari Warriors, you'll notice the, the branding here. It is an SNK officially licensed product, which shows you that, you know, SNK wouldn't back a product that's not uh, good quality. I mean, I would, I would think that anyway. Uh, let's take this sleeve off. And you can see on the front here, you have your player one, right? And on the back is player two. You're thinking, what player one, player two, what are you, what are you talking about, John? Well. What's cool is these are perforated. You can punch out these 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 whole sticks, and this is your joystick. This is it, right? I mean, obviously the inside the box is where all the stuff is, but this is you use. This is the base of your joystick, which is awesome. The back, the blue part, player two. These are not perforated yet. So if you wanted to have a player two, you can get a second joystick and do that. Um, you'd have to get like a Zacto knife or something like that to, to cut these out. But the player one is perforated. So player one perforated, player two is not. Not quite sure why they decided to do that, but all good. Let's take this out and let's show you kind of what's included. Show you kind of what, how, you know, how does it set up and go from there. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, here's the top, as we saw before. Uh, these things just punch out. So we're going to do that real quick. See how easy they are to punch out. Boom, punch it out. There's also a perforation here as well for the cords. Uh, player two also has the same perforation here. Uh, for the cord for that one as well. Um, here is instruction manual, very thick instruction guide, which is great, super helpful. Uh, shows you kind of step-by-step step how to set it up. There are QR codes as well, so if you have any questions. Uh, Glenn recently posted a, a kind of how-to video on his YouTube channel uh, on how to do it as well. So a lot of information. Uh, if you are going into it as a noob, don't really know much about how to set up an arcade stick or anything like that, step-by-step -step instructions. They don't they don't just throw you out in the wolves here that were the lines. They, they definitely um, show you how to do it which is great. Another really cool thing that I was not aware of until recently is that if you have a Prime account through Amazon, they're offering uh, the 40th anniversary of SNK 40th anniversary game for free. And uh, so it's, if you have a Prime account on your PC, it works for Windows uh, for free. I think that's awesome. So I'm gonna show you that in a second and show you how that has Akari Warriors included. Uh, frequently asked questions, uh, troubleshooting, uh, package controller guide, all that good stuff. Really nice step-by-step -step instructions, okay? First thing I noticed when I open this up is the packaging, good quality, right? It's got a really nice thick foam, really sturdy foam. These things aren't just like loose and when shipping or anything like that. The cardboard itself is very thick. This is this is going to last you a while. This is, I mean, I wouldn't get it wet necessarily, right? I wouldn't spill a drink on it. Um, but uh, good, but good quality, right? Uh, let's punch it out. There you go. Punch it out there. Takes a little force. Boom. So when you do punch it out, I would recommend punching it out from the outside in uh, because um, if you do it from the inside out like I did before, I did cause a little tear there. Not a big deal. It's cosmetically just a little, little tear, nothing nothing major. But uh, And there's also uh, this, this punches out in the middle here for the joystick there. And then there is a tool here. There's a hex key that you can use to punch out these smaller ones. There are four screws that you need. That's included. Okay, and this is an important one here too as well. And this is for your kind of mode and for your settings and all that good stuff. Okay, get back to that. This is the unit itself. Okay, let's, there's a plate there. Let's open this up. This is packed really, really tight. Uh, and you can see here it has USB-C settings. So there's a connection that goes USB-C to USB. Um, this will work on any device that can read uh, USB, right? So, you know, if, for those who have a switch, for example, will this work on the switch? Yeah, it could. I think a lot of it really depends on the game itself, right? Whether that that uh, developer or programmer um, has it mapped out to work. Um, so I think in some cases you'll have games that 
will work on this thing. And in some cases, games may not work or may not be mapped out correctly for it. It kind of depends on the game, not necessarily the device itself. So it will work on MAME. It will work on, uh, you know, Raspberry Pi, for example, uh, you know, Switch, uh, PC, anything with a USB, right? Uh, so this is cool. Uh, this is where the connections go for the joystick and all that good stuff. Um, let's put this back. Here is the joystick itself. And it comes with a connection. Now, this is more than your typical joystick, right? Uh, it does have a, a top here. And what's cool is you can push down on it and you can pull up, right? So if you're playing games like Glenn gave a good example in this video, if you're playing Donkey Kong, for example, I can go left, right. I can go up. I can pull up on the, the ladder, press down and go down ladder. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it clicks, right? So kind of, it's got a rot rotary uh, click, which is awesome. Uh, very unique, especially if you're playing games like Akari Warriors, something like that, you can kind of rotate fairly easy, really easy. Uh, so I think that's a really kind of unique for a joystick. It does come with uh, six buttons as well. Uh, let's pop these out. Buttons are on there really good. They have really fat fingers, so they're in there good. Um, but really good, good quality as well. Um, what these are right here, might be easier to just take it out right here. Comes with uh, three additional knobs. So this one has uh, free. So what this means on there, you can kind of spin it like a spinner. There is a firmware coming out where it can spin, like if you're playing like Tron or games, um, that require it, like uh, Tempest, for example, you can kind of use it as a spinner. So there's no no clicks, okay? There's another one here that has uh, 16, so it means it's, it turns 16 ways, clicks 16 ways. This has eight, and I believe the other one, I think this one here automatically is set to uh, 12. So there's different options here for that. Um, you have different modes here. This is uh, goes in the very top. This is for uh, mode, you can select the mode as far as what, how you want the, the joystick to, to control. Uh, you do ways, so you can switch between 8, 12, 16 way or free. Um, these are all the, the cords you need for uh, to connect the, the buttons to the joystick, etc. It comes with a bunch of screws, right? You technically only need um, need four, but it comes with different random sizes and stuff in case you have another uh, joystick or platform you want to use it on. There's a lot of different options. It comes with a hex key, hex key too. Uh, you can use it to uh, basically uh, remove uh, this thing. Right, this, that's, that's going to be important to, to, to remove the top. If you need that, that's why it's there. Or you can use it to punch out um, the joystick here, right? You can use it to punch out these little tiny holes here. My fingers are too fat to do that. That comes in handy. What else comes with? It comes with USB-C, the USB cable for the for the charge, plug it in. Uh, some zip ties to, to zip tie the wires, which is important. Some additional extra um, items. So this is like an extra piece here, something breaks. So there's a lot of nice um, things. This is nice metal. It's going to last you a long time for sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, this board here is for, for other games that are like a four directional games that you want to play on main. So they definitely thought of a lot of different options for you for what kind of game you want to play. So this is just restricted to a, a Kari words, of course. You can use this for multiple different games from Donkey Kong to whatever arcade game you're using. They really thought of everything, which is awesome. So I'm going to go into follow the instructions. I'm going to hook this up uh, in the box itself. Uh, thanks for watching guys and, and we'll see you guys soon here in a second. Okay, here it is. I have it hooked up to my, my laptop, my gaming PC, and I've got the SNK collection pulled up. Put it right in. I'm actually do text controls. Super, super easy. There's 24 games in this collection. I'd say typically if you know what you're doing, it'd probably take about 30 minutes to, to, to put this together. I took a little longer than that. My fingers are extremely fat and have large hands, so uh, it was a little hard to get some of the, the things to stick. I was able to figure it out, and eventually I got to work, of course. Uh, but the first game I'm going to show you is Prehistoric Isle. Uh, this is a great shoot-em-up, shmup. Uh, it's a game that I definitely recommend checking out in the collection. 
I believe it came out for the Neo Geo. I know the second one, Prehistoric Isle 2, came out for Neo Geo. I think this did as well. Uh, classic side-scrolling shooter. Kind of like our type in a sense, but meets Jurassic Park is the best way to explain it. The second one is even better graphically. Uh, that is not in this collection, unfortunately, but this one is definitely one, a worthy game to check out. And the controls are great. It really controls really nicely. Next, of course, is Akari Warriors. What's nice about this collection is not only do you have the arcade port, which I'm going to show you here, I've got the scan lines turned on, but I also it also has the NES version as well, or the console version, they call it. This game is extremely hard. I know it's kind of small, I've uh, seen it on the laptop screen there, but really, really fun, and this is a really fun game to play in co-op mode. Uh, absolutely. And again, the controls uh, work great for this unit. Uh, I will say this, this is a really cool put together kit for arcade enthusiasts. Someone who is not used to putting together arcade sticks, be honest, uh, it was a little challenging because my hands are so, so big, but I know I'm in the minority when it comes to my, my hand size. So I, I think most people will get it put together in about 30 minutes or so. Great instructions, there are QR codes within the booklet that also have, go to videos, I'll show you how to do it. Um, Glenn has also put together a really nice detailed video on his channel, which I encourage you guys to check out and follow. Uh, super good dude, and I want to support him for sure. Let me know what you guys think of this this joystick. I definitely think it's worth checking out. I don't know if they plan to ship internationally or not in the immediate future. I know this is going to be kind of a limited uh, thing they're going to put together. So I encourage you, if you're interested in, in checking out, put a link in below in the information area. I appreciate you guys subscribing as always. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, and of course, game on.